Take a look over my shoulder at downtown Spokane off Cliff Drive. It is no secret why some people are asking if they should be wearing a mask as they go outside. So first things first, just know that really the best way to stay safe is just to stay indoors when the air quality is this poor. A lot of masks like the ones you might get from surgery or a medical mask are gonna do almost nothing to filter out the smoke because the particles are so small, they'll pass right through. You do have some masks like the one we'll put on the screen that are gonna do a little bit more. If you're shopping for these masks, you can find them at basically any pharmacy or hardware store for just a few bucks if they're still in stock. But what you're gonna to wanna to watch for are an N95 or P100 classification. And you'll see that little marking right on the mask itself. If you see that, again, N95 or P100, that's a sign that it's certified to filter out particles small enough that it'll actually cut through some of this smoke. But again, you're still gonna be getting some of that smoke into your lungs, so the best bet is just to stay indoors. Another challenge with this is that a lot of stores seem to be selling out of them. I've gone into a couple stores this morning and their shelves are pretty bare from these masks because so many people are coming in to shop for them. So the moral of the story is stay inside as much as you can and when you're outside, avoid physical activity because it can do some lasting damage. In Spokane, Rob Harris, back to you. And Rob didn't necessarily answer the gas mask question, but I would imagine if it's uh, small enough to filter out gas particles, mm -hmm. smoke may be included in that. Yeah.